All right, so exercise 10, updating properties. This level is very similar to the last, but this time you'll add in the draw loop yourself. Do this. Here, let's run the code. Add the draw loop block to the bottom of this program. Okay, I think so. I think they want it there. Notice, so let's drag this back. Notice that where that yellow highlighted field shows up matters okay if i put this in somewhere else okay it's not really allowing me but sometimes you can put things inside these boxes okay so you got to be careful with that because that could mess up your whole code okay so i put the draw loop at the bottom of the program move any blocks that need to be inside the draw loop okay so they want us to grab these blocks i think that are already created and put them in the draw loop Okay, so I think what we want to do is grab these three blocks, and I like to highlight, so I click and drag and highlight those three and put them inside the draw loop, and I think that should, I think that should work. They want it to look like this shaking salt shaker. Yep, that looks correct. Move on when you're program. yep. Okay. Updating properties. This level combines some of the skills you've already seen. It's drawing ellipses in the background and also updating sprite properties. This time it's changing the sprite's sprite.rotation property. Do this. This animation already is updating one sprite's rotation property to make it look like it's shaking. Run the program to see how it works. Add code to this program to make the other alien shake just like the first. So you want it to look like this where they're both shaking, but right now only this guy, only this guy is shaking. Uh, okay, so I think this is going to be a good opportunity for us coders to use our best friend, which is copy and paste. Let's see what we have to copy and paste. So. Let's make this a little bigger. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to want to copy this line, paste it below, and just change it from green alien to pink alien. And the way we can change or check that is by going to the top and seeing which variables have created. So yeah, we have green alien and pink alien. And both of those animations have been set accordingly. So we want to reference pink alien, which is in camel case, if you'll notice. Okay, so I will click show text. And I'm going to highlight just this line, okay? Just this line. And you can right click it, copy. I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And then I'm going to paste, and we want to change this green alien, but let's put it back to blocks first. And we want to change this green alien to pink alien. And so notice that we're using rotation, okay? Dot rotation, that's what's making it rotate from negative 5 to 5. All right, perfect. That's how they wanted it. Extend your scene. This is the sprite scene you made in the last lesson. Okay, cool, my watermelon. You'll now be updating it a little bit to use the draw loop and sprite properties. Okay, this is the draw loop. Do this, add a draw loop to your program. You should only have one. Okay, uh, let's add it at the bottom. Use the lasso selector. Oh, that's the click and drag tool. This is the lasso selector that they're referring to. Uh, to select all your code and place it inside your draw loop. Control Z, pressing Control Z on your keyboard will let you undo any mistakes you made. Okay, so uh, to select all your code and place it inside the draw loop. Okay, it says select all your code, but I don't think you want to put this variable inside your draw loop. Okay, so don't do that. So let's lasso 
the rest of it. Everything except for the variable and set animation blocks. And let's drag that and put it in, in the draw loop. Okay, nothing really happened yet. Uh, add code to your program that updates your sprites. Sprite.x, Sprite.y, or Sprite.rotation properties so that they move. You'll need to update them with random number. Okay, so what they want us to do is similar to the last levels. They just want us to make it make my watermelon rotate or something. Uh, or make the sun move. So let's make this watermelon rotate. Uh, hmm. Does this have to be above draw sprites? Well, we'll see. Let's put it above draw sprites and let's check. So the name of the sprite, this is important. you got to change this to the name of your sprite or your variable. And in this case, mine is watermelon. And remember, you got to use random number to make it moving. Let's do negative five, five, just like in the last level. And cool, my watermelon is shaking. So, hmm, what else can we do? Well, let's make this sun move around just a little bit. So, we'll set it hmm, x0 to 75, y0 to 75. Cool. So, I'm going to add, what's the variable for, oh, it's not a variable. Hmm. Okay, this is how I will do it. Okay, so in this ellipse, we have the x position and the y position. I'm going to put random number in each of those. So there it's, get out of there. Now it's just in the x coordinate, but I want to put it in the y coordinate too. Notice where the yellow field was highlighted. So I'm going to do 0, 75, 0, 75. And now the sun should move. Yep. Cool. Ain't nothing like watermelon with a red sunset. All right, well done.